Hello everyone, um, I'm making this tutorial on how to use the Snoring Kid Dispatch part of it. Um, I know new dispatches will be a little confused on how to use it and whatnot. So, I'll go over it, show you how to use it on TeamSpeak, and yeah. Alright, so honestly, your screen won't look something like this. It will actually look something like that. You customize these all to your liking. Just right click unlock and you can move it to wherever you feel. And just hit lock and it locks it. Um also you have the active calls, you know that call history if any calls were created. If they were they'll obviously pop up there. Just have to fix this. Like I said you can just move them around. Why not? Like that. Uh, show advanced. And you can make them as big and whatever you feel. Let's see like that for now. Um, so yeah, you'll see the other uh, call history. If there's any active calls, they'll be there. Uh, you can see the active units. And what they're doing, their status, departments, everything like that. Main island calls come in see them through there and then this is where you create the call so either if it's a now on caller if it's you giving out the call if it's an observer or if it's a walk up so you can either choose which one you want to use for alio and yourself um, making the call obviously you can just use radio dispatch if that works uh, call status, so if the call is active, pending, or if it will be closed. Pending just means it's still, you know, waiting to be activated. Active means it's in progress, and closed means it's been closed. Go for it. Priority 1, 2, 3 means the status or the, how much the priority of that call is. So if it's like code 99, that's priority 1. If it's a traffic side, that's priority 3. Uh, this block, don't worry about. That is just something that was there on the kid. Uh, the address would just be the street name, and the postal would be over postals on the map. And then you can just give a little call description, and you can add notes once you create the call. Uh, so if you hit the little snoring button at the bottom, you can see a couple of little tabs here. Dispatch one has signal, tone board, and street sign. Unit management has life map and timer. And then record management has lookup, records, and bolos. Documentation has 10 codes, penal codes, and quick links. And also system, and I think we don't have to worry about. So currently I have a couple of these open. Also you can minimize them. I have the pound board, signal, signal um, tab, the live map, and bolos. Cool thing about the uh, tone board is that you can own certain people out so if you let's say clients and sees or agency let's go with that since it's already up there so i'll see if you don't want to tone out leo departments you only want to tone out uh fire and ems so if you see that which it should be yeah might not be there because nobody's actually actively on but let's just say it's cops Obviously, it's not going to be, but you'll see it on there when they're active. Um, either, you know, clear traffic, this can be for everybody. Um, but if you want it to be certain, you hit play too. So if I hit fire tone. It plays the tone. Um, if you, certain, so whoever is on that agency will hear it. If they're not, then they won't hear it. Signal um, tab is like signal 100. Signal 100 is now in effect. Oh, and this is good for if there's uh, like priority calls and all that. Also, you can't put, oh, I did not want to move it. If you can't put dashes, actually, if you can't, you cannot put dashes, so you just put 103. Signal 103 is now in effect. And I'll see everybody will know what that means. I'll see you can put any number you feel, but Signal keep it to the ones that we have. Signal 103 is no longer in effect.
Honestly, when you clear it, it goes off like so. The live map, uh, when there's people in a server, you'll be able to see where they are, their status, and whatnot. We're trying to see if we can get the, po uh, the postal map to work on here, but it may not work. But I'll see if we have the uh, other live map if you need to look up a postal. Which is also comes in handy sometimes. And then if there's any bolo vehicles or people that have to be, or who are bolo, they'll be under this tab. So let's see if we do bolo, we can create one really fast. So when the ball is created, it'll come up like this. Uh, if there's any flags, it will show you. You can click on it, and you can see what it's about. Also, you can even open a PDF, which is very cool. Let me download it first. Now we open it. And then there you go. And then you can have a whole PDF of that bolo. Uh, this works for other things as well. Um, but it's also good for if there's any court cases or if there's any logging systems that have to be done through that. Other than that, you can change the author status just by clicking on it. Uh, if you click on a open spot, you can add them to a call, look, look them up, see if they have any histories or whatnot. Or you can send units to a certain thing. A lot of amazing things you can do with this kid. You even set personal timers. You can even edit the unit. You can even, I'm not sure you can kick them off, but you can also toggle their panic button if you need to. But uh, other than that, there's not really much more to go over. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask me. I'll be happy to help. But uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.